Hello everyone, you're very welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be answering the question, what is the best clean energy ETF for European investors? Clean energy ETFs allow investors to invest in a wide number of companies who are operating in the alternative energy sector. For example, solar energy, wind energy, hydroelectric energy, and geothermal energy. The appeal of owning a clean energy ETF is that one can invest in the alternative energy sector as a whole without having to pick individual clean energy energy companies to invest in. With many countries doubling down on their sustainability efforts to tackle climate change, clean energy ETFs and the underlying companies which they invest in have become somewhat of a trend. Many investors, beginners and veterans alike, are looking to align their investment strategies with their personal beliefs. Hence why environmental, social and governance investing or ESG investing is growing in popularity. For each clean energy ETF that we discuss in this video, I'll highlight the clean energy index that the ETF tries the ETF's total expense ratio, the ETF's domicile, the structure of the ETF, the ETF's dividend status, and the European brokerage platforms that the ETF is available on. If after watching this video, you want to get started investing in clean energy ETFs, but you don't have a brokerage account, you can try out brokers like the Giro, Trade Republic, or Trading212 using the links in the video description. If you want to learn which of these brokers is the best for European investors, check out the video popping up on screen after this one. Before we jump into the clean energy ETFs, I want to spend a bit of time talking about the indexes that clean energy ETFs are tracking. According to Just ETF, there are 13 clean energy indexes which are tracked by 16 clean energy ETFs. Each of these indexes track companies that are engaged in the alternative energy sector. However, the companies that are tracked by a given index and the weighting of those companies within the index will most certainly vary from index to index. There may be crossover between the indexes, but but no two clean energy indexes will be exactly the same. Some clean energy indexes may focus solely on solar energy companies, some may focus on wind energy companies, while others may focus on the alternative energy sector as a whole. The point I'm trying to make here is that comparing clean energy ETFs with one another is a much more time intensive exercise than comparing the likes of S&P 500 ETFs. Reason being, with S&P 500 ETFs, you at least have certainty that the underlying assets which the ETF owns are going to be consistent across ETFs because they're all tracking the same index. When you have that certainty, the ETF investment decision becomes less about the underlying assets and more about the ETF's characteristics, total expense ratios, structure, dividend status, etc, etc. No such certainty exists with clean energy ETFs. Because of this, the investment decision-making process for clean energy ETFs looks more like this. Step one, evaluate the different clean energy indexes that are tracked by different clean energy ETFs. Step two, bundle the indexes and ETFs into separate groups where the indexes and ETFs within a given group are somewhat comparable. Step three, evaluate and compare the characteristics of each ETF within a group, i.e. total expense ratios, structure, and dividend status. And step four, make a decision as to which clean energy ETF is best for you, weighing the different ETF characteristics against the different investment exposures that different clean energy ETFs will provide. This process requires a holistic view of clean energy indexes, clean energy ETFs, and their respective characteristics. If you're not willing to perform this research yourself, then clean energy ETFs might not be for you. With that being said, let's take a look at some of the clean energy ETFs that you might consider investing in. As we go through these ETFs, pay attention to what I'm highlighting for each ETF. This will give you an idea of some of the considerations that you should be taken on board. I'll leave a link to the full list of clean energy ETFs in the video description. I would highly recommend making your way through this list in your own time and doing the necessary research to find the best clean energy ETF for you. The first ETF I want to discuss is the LNG Clean Energy Uses ETF, ticker symbol or ENW. The ISIN for this ETF is IE00BK5BCH80. Or ENW tracks the Selective Clean Energy Index Net Total Return or NTR. As per the index fact sheet, the Selective Clean Energy Index aims to track the performance of a basket of stocks of companies that are actively engaged in the international clean energy industry. The index is calculated as a net total return version in US dollar. As of March 2nd, 2023, the top 10 companies in this index are as follows. Saipem, Nordex, First Solar, Sub-C7, SMA Solar Technology, Andritz, Schneider Electric, Marubeni, Valmet, and SolarEdge Technology. 
technologies. The index is made up of 52 alternative energy companies in total. So the LNG Clean Energy ETF will seek to provide investors with exposure to the returns of the Selective Clean Energy Index by owning the underlying companies which the index tracks in the same proportions as the index itself. The expense ratio for this ETF is 0.49% or 49 basis points, meaning for every 1,000 euro invested, 4 euro and 90 cents will go to fees. It's worthwhile noting that the total expense ratio of this ETF is the lowest among clean energy ETFs. Or ENW is domiciled in Ireland and is structured as a physical ETF, meaning the ETF actually owns the underlying stock investments. The ETF is an accumulating ETF, meaning any dividends received by the ETF from the underlying stocks will be reinvested rather than paid out to the ETF shareholders. Or ENW is available on DeGiro, Trade Republic and Trading212. Or ENW is for investors who don't necessarily want to focus on one particular segment of the clean energy industry, but would rather opt for broad-based exposure at the lowest total expense ratio. As a prospective investor, it's your responsibility to ensure that the underlying companies which this ETF invests in are the alternative energy companies that you want to own. Now let's move on to the Global X suite of clean energy ETFs. Global X offers four clean energy ETFs. The Global X Solar ETF, the Global X Renewable Energy Producers ETF, the Global X Wind Energy ETF, and the Global X Clean Tech ETF. Each of these ETFs has a total expense ratio of 0.50% or 50 basis points. They're all domiciled in Ireland, they're all physical ETFs, and they're all accumulating ETFs. Let's look at each ETF in a bit more detail. Starting with the Global X Solar ETF, ticker symbol or AYZ. The ISIN for this ETF is IE000 XD7KCJ7. Per the fund key information document, this ETF seeks to track the Selective Solar V2 Index. The Selective Solar V2 Index is made up of 46 companies that have business operations in the provision of solar energy. As of March 2nd, 2023, the top 10 companies in this index are as follows. First Solar, SunGrow, JA Solar, Longy Green Energy, Enphase Energy, TCL Zonghuan Renewable Energy, Trina Solar, Hangzhou, Ginglong Technologies, and Shenzhen New Energy. Or AYZ is available on DeGiro, Trade Republic, and Trading212. Next, we have the Global X Renewable Energy Producers ETF, ticker symbol or N or G. The ISIN for this ETF is IE00BLCHJH52. Per the fund key information document, this ETF seeks to track the Index Renewable Energy Producers V2 Index. The Index Renewable Energy Producers V2 Index is designed to track the performance of companies that produce energy from renewable sources such as wind, solar, hydroelectric, geothermal, and biofuels. There are 38 companies included within the index, and the top 10 companies are as follows. Verbund, Meridian Energy, EDP, Brookfield Renewable Partners, Centris Electricus, Energy Absolute, Mercury NZ, Sunrun, Nextera Energy, and Ormat Technologies. Or NRG is available on Trade Republic and Trading212, but not to zero. Then we have the Global X Wind Energy ETF, ticker symbol WNDY. The ISIN for this ETF is IE000JNHCBM6. Per the fund key information document, this ETF seeks to track the Selective Wind Energy V2 Index. The Selective Wind Energy V2 Index is made up of 29 companies that have business operations in the provision of wind energy. As of March 2nd, 2023, the top 10 companies in this index are as follows. Vestas Wind Systems, Ming Yang Smart Energy, Orsted, Titan Wind Energy, CSEP Wind Power, Corp Akiona, Borelex, Nordex, Dajin, and Interjex Renewable Energy. WNDY is available on DeGiro, Trade Republic, and Trading212. Finally, we have the Global X Clean Tech ETF, ticker symbol CTEK. The ISIN for this ETF is IE00BMH5YL08. Per the fund key information document, this ETF seeks to track the Index Global Clean Tech V2 Index. The Index Global Clean Tech V2 Index is designed to track the performance of companies that develop technology or equipment that enables the production of energy from renewable sources, efficient utilization of energy, and reduction of negative environmental influences. There are 39 companies included within the index, and the top 10 companies are as follows First Solar, Samsung SDI, Vestas Wind Systems, Solar Edge Technologies, 
Ten Phase Energy, Jin He Solar, Hanwha Solutions, Johnson Mathy, Plug Power, and Bloom Energy. CTEK is available on DeGiro, Trade Republic, and Trading212. The Global X suite of clean energy ETFs allow you to have more specificity over your investment allocations to alternative energies. Similar to how owning an S&P 500 ETF, an Emerging Markets ETF, and a Europe ETF can be helpful for adjusting your capital allocations over time, owning, say, a solar ETF and a wind ETF can allow you to increase or decrease your respective allocations as you see fit. Whereas with a broad-based clean energy ETF, you're restricted to the weightings of the index. The reason why I'm listing the top 10 companies within each ETF we cover is to highlight just how different these ETFs can be from one another in terms of composition. Hence why it's so important to gain comfort over the underlying assets. An alternative option to the Global X suite of clean energy ETFs is the Invesco suite. Invesco has three clean energy ETFs that I want to discuss. First up is the Invesco Global Clean Energy ETF, ticker symbol G1CE. The ISIN for this ETF is IE00BLORB0242. G1CE has a total expense ratio of 0.60% or 60 basis points. It's domiciled in Ireland, structured as a physical ETF, and it's an accumulating ETF. G1CE seeks to track the Wilder Hill New Energy Global Innovation Index. The Wilder Hill New Energy Global Innovation Index is designed to reflect the performance of global companies whose innovative technologies focus on the generation and use of cleaner energy, conservation, efficiency, and the advancement of renewable energy. It's mainly composed of companies focused in wind, solar, biofuels, hydro, wave, tidal, geothermal, and other relevant renewable energy businesses, as well as energy conversion, storage, conservation, efficiency, materials relating to those activities, carbon and greenhouse gas reduction, pollution control, emerging hydrogen, and fuel cells. The ETF owns 129 companies, and as of March 1st, the top 10 companies are as follows. A Balance, Zhang, EcoPro, SMA Solar Technology, Cadillac, Yadea, Soltech Power, Nordex, Universal Display, and First Solar. G1CE is available on DeGiro and Trade Republic, but not Trading212. Next up is the Invesco Wind Energy ETF, ticker symbol WNDE. The ISIN for this ETF is IE0008 or X29L5. WNDE has a total expense ratio of 0.60% or 60 basis points. It's domiciled in Ireland, structured as a physical ETF, and it's an accumulating ETF. WNDE seeks to track the Wilder Hill Wind Energy Net Return Index. The Wilder Hill Wind Energy Net Return Index is designed to track the performance of global companies whose innovative technologies focus on advancing wind energy and enabling its use. It's composed of companies focused on improving wind turbines and blades, providing materials used in wind energy, modernizing the grid, facilitating greater wind energy deployment, or expanding its use. It includes companies involved in onshore and offshore wind energy. The ETF owns 56 companies, and as of March 1st, the top 10 companies are as follows. Navitas Semiconductor, SGL Carbon, Nordex, SMA Solar Technology, Cadillac, China Datang, Vestas Wind Systems, SKF, CS Bearing, and Sub-C7. WNDE is available on Trade Republic, but not the Giro or Trading212. Finally, we have the Invesco Solar Energy ETF, ticker symbol S0LOR. The ISIN for this ETF is IE00BM8QORZ79. S0LOR has a total expense ratio of 0.69% or 69 basis points. It's domiciled in Ireland, structured as a physical ETF, and is an accumulating ETF. S0LOR seeks to track the MAC Global Solar Energy Index. The MAC Global Solar Energy Index is designed to reflect the performance of the global solar energy equity sector. The ETF owns 44 companies, and as of March 1st, the top 10 companies are as follows. First Solar, Solar Edge Technologies, Enphase Energy, GCL Technology, Jin He Solar, Sun Run, Daco New Energy, Shoals Technologies, Array Technologies, and Meyer Burger Technology. S0 LOR is available on DeGiro and Trade Republic, but not Trading212. The next clean energy ETF on our list is the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF, ticker symbol IN or G. The ISIN for this ETF is IE00B1X NHC34. This ETF is 
the largest clean energy ETF in Europe in terms of net asset value. INRG has a total expense ratio of 0.65% or 65 basis points. It's domiciled in Ireland, structured as a physical ETF, and it's a distributing ETF. Unlike accumulating ETFs, distributing ETFs will pass on investment income to the ETF shareholders by way of a cash dividend. Depending on where in Europe you live, accumulating ETFs may have tax advantages over distributing ETFs. INRG seeks to track the S&P Global Clean Energy Index. The S&P Global Clean Energy Index is designed to measure the performance of companies in global clean energy related businesses from both developed and emerging markets with a target constituent count of 100. The ETF owns 96 companies and as of March 1st, the top 10 companies are as follows. First Solar, Enphase Energy, Solar Edge Technologies, Iberdrola, Consolidated Edison, Vestas Wind Systems, Orsted, Plug Power, EDP Energias, and Centras Electricas. INRG is available on DeGiro, Trade Republic, and Trading212. The final clean energy ETF on our list is the First Trust NASDAQ Clean Edge Green Energy ETF, ticker symbol QCLN. The ISIN for this ETF is IE00BDB or T036. QCLN has a total expense ratio of 0.60% or 60 basis points. It's domiciled in Ireland, structured as a physical ETF, and it's an accumulating ETF. QCLN seeks to track the NASDAQ Clean Edge Green Energy Index. The NASDAQ Clean Edge Green Energy Index is a modified market capitalization weighted index designed to track the performance of companies that are primarily manufacturers, developers, distributors, and or installers of clean energy technologies as defined by Clean Edge. The ETF owns 61 companies, and as of March 2nd, the top 10 companies are as follows. ON Semiconductor, Tesla, Albemarle, Enphase Energy, Rivian, Solar Edge Technologies, First Solar, Lucid Group, Wolf Speed, and Allegro Microsystems. QCLN is available on Trade Republic and Trading212, but not DeGiro. So with all of that being said, what is the best clean energy ETF for European investors? As I alluded to in the introduction, it's not as easy as just picking one outright winner. Each of these ETFs track different clean energy indexes, meaning the underlying companies and their respective weightings can differ significantly from ETF to ETF. Take the wind and solar ETFs offered by Global X and Invesco, for example. Even though these ETFs provide exposure to the same segments of the alternative energy sector, they do so in very different manners. While there is some crossover between the ETF compositions, the Invesco ETFs own much more companies and the weightings are much more even across constituents as compared to the Global X ETFs. The effect of this is that the over or under performance of the top 10 companies in the Invesco ETFs will have a lower proportionate impact on the ETF's performance than the over or under performance of the top 10 companies in the Global X ETFs. Two very different composition structures that will directly impact performance and you need to decide which one is most suitable to you. That's before you consider the fact that the Global X ETFs have lower total expense ratios at 0.50%. As for the broad-based clean energy ETFs, while the LNG and Global X options come with lower total expense ratios, the Invesco Global Clean Energy ETF might be a better choice for those looking for a more balanced investment in the clean energy sector. As an Irish investor, the iShares option isn't really attractive to me because it's a distributing ETF which comes with less tax efficiency. The first trust option could be suitable to those who want to invest in clean energy with a preference for electric vehicle companies. Overall, clean energy ETF investing requires a holistic assessment of the available ETFs and the underlying indexes. It's not sufficient to solely evaluate the ETF characteristics and compare the ETFs on that basis alone, like you might with an S&P 500 ETF. Factors such as portfolio composition, historical performance, and the conditions for index inclusion are all relevant to your investment decision. It's worthwhile noting that clean energy ETFs, like all thematic ETFs, offer lower quality diversification to investors. You're investing your money in a fund whose portfolio is concentrated in one specific industry, clean energy. While clean energy investing might be a popular trend right now, that doesn't exempt it from the basic rules of sensible investing. If you're not willing to do the research to understand the underlying clean energy companies, there is little rationale for having a clean energy investment that is anywhere close in size to your investments in broad-based index funds, tracking the likes of American, European, and emerging market equities. Remember, the ultimate goal of investing is to make
make money. While aligning your investments with your personal beliefs is a noble cause, at some point you have to ask yourself what is the cost associated with that cause and how will that impact your financial future. So now that you have that information, you might want to get started investing in clean energy ETFs. Again, if you don't have a brokerage account or if you want to try out a new broker, you can sign up to DeGiro, Trade Republic or Trading212 using the links in the video description. Using these links supports me as a creator and lets me know that you found this video to be useful. What clean energy ETF do you think is best for European investors? Have I missed any contenders for the number one spot? If so, let me know in the comments. Before you start investing in clean energy ETFs, you should check out this next video, which shows you how to automate your investments into ETFs using Trading212 and Trade Republic. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.